thing that I dream for to get a start in life's game. <laughs> Settled you down some, didn't it? Yep. Yeah. Ain't nobody a badass that can double dose of rock salt that deep in their tits. <laughs> I can't even imagine how bad that shit must stink. I don't want to, neither. I win. <laughs> you hateful bitch. But... Bingo! And to what do I owe this dubious pleasure? I just caught me the cowgirl. Ain't never been caught. Did you kill her? Well, not yet, I ain't. I shot her full of rock salt. She's so gentle right now. Guess what I'm holding in my hand right now? What? A brand spanking new Atari Hanzo sword. That's what I call sharp. How much? You get your bony ass down here first thing in the morning. A million dollars in folding cash. And I'll give you the greatest sword ever made by a man. I think we got a deal. One condition. She must suffer to her last breath. I can pretty much damn well guarantee. Then I'll see you in the morning, millionaire. See this? You see it, don't you? That's a kind of mace. No. You're going underneath the ground tonight. And that's all there is to it. I want to bury you. I was going to bury you. <laughs> it is. But if you're gonna act like a horse's ass, I'm gonna spray this whole goddamn can right in your eyeballs. I'll burn them right out of your fucking head. Then you're gonna be blind. Burn them. And buried alive. Now what's it gonna be, sister? That's a wise decision. This is for breaking my brother's heart.
Once upon a time, the Shaolin monk appeared. Pai Mei gave the monk the slightest of nods. The nod was not returned. Now, was it the intention of the Shaolin monk to insult Pai Mei? Or did he just fail to see the generous social gesture? The motives of the monk remain unknown. What is known were the consequences. The next morning, Pai Mei appeared at the Shaolin Temple and demanded his neck to repay the insult. The Shaolin monk at first tried to console Pai Mei, only to find Pai Mei was inconsolable. So began the massacre of the Shaolin Temple and all 60 of the monks inside at the fists of the White Lotus. And so began the legend of Pai Mei's five-point palm exploding heart technique. And what, pray tell, is the five-point palm exploding heart technique? Quite simply, the deadliest blow in all of martial arts. He hits you with his fingertips at five different pressure points on your body and then lets you walk away. But once you've taken five steps, your heart explodes inside your body and you fall to the floor, dead. Did he teach you that? No. He teaches no one a five-point palm exploding heart technique. So, word to the wise. Whatever Pai Mei says, obey. If you flash him, even for an instant, a defiant eye, he'll pluck it out. And if you throw any American sass his way, he'll snap your back and your neck like they were twigs. And that will be the story of... 